Hey guys, Legion here and welcome back to Jurassic Evergreen Park. In this episode, I will build a Brachiosaurus hand feeding area as well as a habitat for this Dracosaurus and the Gigantoraptor. Enjoy! And yeah, with all of that said, finally welcome back to another speed build right here on the channel for this Brachiosaurus habitat. So in this habitat, the whole idea is sort of that we're trying to evoke this feeling of like a habitat where the guests can walk down this walkway and then feed the Brachiosaurus uh, by hand or maybe just stand next to the feeders and watch them uh, feed on those uh, plants in there very closely, which is sort of something you would maybe see in a zoo in the giraffe habitat. And of course that doesn't work in the game, we're just sort of trying to evoke that feeling right here. But also here's your quick little reminder to subscribe to the channel, I don't want to annoy you with this, but simply if I don't say it, uh, I'm gonna get a lot less subscribers from this video. So yeah, um, if you do subscribe, uh, thank you, it does help out a lot. So yeah, and the sort of special-ish thing about this habitat also is that it has been planned for quite a while now. And uh, the reason for that is because it's part of a way bigger, uh, the actual biggest, uh, by far the biggest habitat in the entire park. And that is around the entrance, the Brachiosaurus habitat. Because if you didn't know already, if you haven't watched the previous episodes of, uh, like all of the previous episodes of this uh, whole park build, then uh, you would know that in the middle of the park there is actually the, the entrance of the park which has this sort of water feature designed around it and then around this staggering like water terrace we have a big Brachiosaurus habitat sort of going around the entrance and then going around that habitat is the park and then the park um, basically goes from the entrance around the Brachiosaurus habitat and then back to the entrance again so the entrance also doubles as the exit for the park visitors. And this habitat, the Brachiosaurus habitat, has now been featured in multiple episodes right here uh, of this whole park build. One of them was a top-down sort of viewing area um, where the guests could also be sort of on uh, the same height as the Brachiosaurus when they're eating, sort of their, their heads when eating the plants. And there was a watchtower, then there was like an area um, at the same height as the Brachiosaurus, um, which is sort of regular to uh, similar to what you would do in uh, a more regular habitat most of the time for Brachiosaurus. And then uh, also from the Sukumimus habitat, the Sukumimus actually has like a sort of um, height elevated view uh, down into the Brachiosaurus habitat. And now there's the final connection of the Brachiosaurus habitat to this area right here. And I had uh, planned for quite a long time now to sort of have like a cutout like this where uh, the Brachiosaurus habitat actually ends. So I also finished all of the empty areas still and non-decorated areas in this habitat in this episode, uh, sort of behind the scenes because that's not really that interesting. It's just more of the same placing down rocks, some bushes and some trees like I mostly do. And this habitat was actually supposed to come uh, after the Acrocanthosaurus, uh, I'm just gonna say Acrocanthosaurus episode, there were like more habitats in that episode as well, but uh, that's like the biggest habitat of that video. So yeah, after that uh, I was, it was planned for me to build this habitat, but then the DLC came out, so I decided to add the Megalodon first and then also add the Sagisaurus and Microceratus, and then of course I had a bigger break on my channel, so that is why finally this habitat is now happening. And uh, that's not actually the only habitat we're going to be doing in this episode. As well, um, we're going to be doing a habitat next to one of the path art designs I did from reference in the same Aquacanthosaurus episode, because there was still an empty area right next to it and also between the lagoon. So there's a high, an elevated view from the path next to the lagoon and also a lower down path from that path art design. And I think that habitat also turned out quite nicely. You're gonna see that towards the end of the cinematics, me building that. I had planned to put uh, at least some Ceratopsin in there, either the Styracosaurus or Taurosaurus, and I decided to go for the Styracosaurus, which uh, is actually the one of the two that I prefer, but I just decided to put in there because it's smaller and the habitat it, uh, itself isn't that large. And then I realized, like I was thinking uh, what other species to put in there, and I decided to settle on the Gigantoraptor because uh, I was just like looking for different species and I thought the Gigantoraptor fits perfectly into that habitat. Um, it's not really, I don't know how to describe it, but it just it just fits the habitat and you maybe will even see that in the cinematics how it just fits into the habitat and it makes sense in there. So I decided to build for the Gigantoraptor. And the fun fact is that the Gigantoraptor is probably now my most featured uh, 
species on this uh, whole channel, like the species I've built for most, because I've made one speed build for it when that DLC came out, one with a Brachiosaurus habitat, and now again one with a Brachiosaurus habitat in the same episode. Also right now there was just a little cut in between building sessions that was because I placed down a ton of rocks uh, and while it's not recording because that's pretty boring and I didn't want to just speed up the entire process or cut most of it out so I just did off screen it's just placing the big rocks and placing the medium rocks the even more medium rocks and then the small rocks and doing that all along this sort of cliff face and then also in those sort of gaps between the different walkways for the guests. But now for another pretty exciting and important announcement for this park and that is if you have been paying close attention to the last few episodes you would uh, you could maybe know I'm not sure if you can actually know this but the park is now really close to being finished. This is actually the second to last episode and that means the next, uh, the next episode will be the finale of this park where I'll be building for of course the Utah Rennes. Um, it was just kind of, it happened that I still didn't build for the Utah Renner, so I'm going to be building for it as the final species, with it of course being my favorite species, sort of the um, species on the profile picture of my channel of course, so I'm going to be choosing the Utah Renner for the final habitat, and I've actually already started building uh, on that uh, habitat and I think it's turning out quite nicely I'm gonna be doing something special for that episode, so yeah, stay tuned for the finale of this park and then also the tour at some point. Now what I will be doing with the save file of this park is going to be a little bit different. Instead of posting it on Nexus like I've done for my Tropical Park or like I've done with Unity Park, which wasn't really just my park, it was uh, a park with like multiple people as you know, but I still we still posted it on Nexus. But this park I won't be posting on Nexus. That's The reason for that is that his park has taken a lot, a lot of time and I want to give something back to my channel members. Because I've actually recently opened uh, channel memberships right here and I just wanted to have some special perks. So for now the evergreen save file will be exclusive to the membership, uh, the membership and all of the members. And I'm gonna be adding more park save files to that collection as time goes on so every time uh, someone becomes a member they will be able to download all of the parks that are uh, you know in the membership and included in there so I'm not gonna be doing that with all of my park save files in the future just with uh, some of them and yeah so some of them will still be available on Nexus so yeah I hope you guys are gonna be able to understand that of course I want to give something special away to the members that decide to support this channel in a uh, even more meaningful way than you guys already do but of course the rest uh, like the whole park will still be toured there's just one little issue at this point with the park and that is that in one of like from the second or like yeah from like the third or and to the fourth habitat those habitats are actually currently missing the reason for that is something that happened to me way back in like the second episode or something that was that I had uh, I accidentally overwrote my park save file and I had a pretty old backup so I lost two of the habitats. I've now rebuilt like the structure of them, the outer fence, I've built, uh, rebuilt the path but I haven't put in all of the decorations and all of the decorations for the habitat and I think I'm still gonna be having to do that. I don't really want to give you guys an incomplete version of the save file and I don't want to show like an incomplete version of the park as well and just show cinematics from those old episodes. So I think that is uh, what I'm going to be doing, so that's going to take quite a lot more work because it's a big area and also with the huge amount of lag that there's now in this huge park, it's a lot more difficult to actually build anything. I was just, in this safe for example, while it's building, I was um, trying to place down buildings and while it's recording and it would just crash every single time, so I had to stop the recording to even place buildings and when I want to customize my buildings in this park it just doesn't work anymore at all. So yeah, uh, with all of that lag it's gonna take, it's gonna be quite difficult to rebuild all of that stuff that I've already built, so that is also gonna uh, be a reason why the tour will probably take some more time and of course I've never really done a park tour before, so it's gonna take a lot of figuring out to do that, but yeah for now uh, uh, this is even this is only the second to last episode we're gonna probably talk more about that and the finished park in the finale for now um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video this whole speed build this habitat I think the whole feeding area and the uh, brachiosaurus habitat looks quite nice it's like a special thing and also like how sort of this round path is lower than the 
path next to it so you sort of go down into this area surrounding the brachiosaurus habitats then on this walkway to uh, you know hand feed them which would be like the idea then I also added the parasaurolophus into that habitat and now with the complete brachiosaurus habitat it looks really cool in the park i have to say and yeah i also really uh, love the second habitat um, the one for the gigantoraptor it just fits very nicely in there and the foliage in there makes it look sort of foresty which was uh, what I always had in mind for that habitat. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Enjoy the cinematics. Bye bye.